welcome back to my channel. I have another haul video for you. This is the third one I'm filming in a row. Um, although I'm gonna get, one of them is gonna be two parts. So this will be the fourth video in a row. Um, <clears throat> somebody will be wearing the same sweatshirt, but, um, and I'm probably gonna be uploading these on different days, most likely, we'll see. Um, but I did film these kind of all at the same time. So this next order is from Swanky. Um, Swanky Candle Company. This was her pre-order that she did back in September. The order date was September 16th. And then I think I got this <clears throat> on, did it arrive Friday? I'm sorry if I'm clearing my throat, I'm getting over a cold. So today's Saturday the 11th. I either got it on the 9th or 10th of November. So just like shy of two months, like a week shy of two months roughly. I did get um, a handful of loaves and one of the things I was gonna do <clears throat> was weigh her loaves. This is the first order I've placed with Swanky since she changed the shape of her loaves. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you kind of, this is what they look like now. They're wider, but like flatter. And then her price has increased quite a bit. They're now, I think like $19.20 or something like that. Whereas I feel like her loaves used to be like $14 or something. And these are supposed to weigh 10 to 12 ounces. I haven't weighed them. So what I'm gonna do is I will put down here, I will weigh some and put down here kind of roughly what the weight is of each of them. Cause some of them have embeds. <clears throat> so when they have embeds, they do weigh a little bit more. But so I was kind of interested to see what I think like for the value because she says they weigh 10 to 12 ounces. So if they weigh 10 ounces and you're paying a little over $19, that's like almost $2 an ounce, which is quite pricey for Swanky, at least how she has been like in the past, you know? So, um, you know, so that's kind of like, I went into this order, like not doing anything too big just because the prices seem to go up quite a bit. Um, and then also I have quite a bit from her still. And so, but there was a handful of scents I really wanted to get. So anyhow, I'm not gonna start with the loaves right now. I actually do have samples. So let me start with the samples. I think I have four, five, I have five samples. The first one here is a scent shot. This is Purple Pie Man. And this I think is from, she did a strawberry shortcake sampler, like strawberry shortcake and friends or something like that. There's some glitter in the top. And I can't tell what this is. This is like, it's definitely like a berry scent. <clears throat> is it like a raspberry? I feel like it's probably like a raspberry. It smells really good. Yeah, I think it might be a raspberry scent. Um, so anyway, how purple pie man. And there might be maybe some pie notes in it or something. Then I got this little... Um, sliver from a loaf. This is Pink Chiffon Strawberry Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds, which I love all of those scent notes. Yeah, this is really pretty. I definitely get the Pink Chiffon and the Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. Maybe a little bit of strawberry in there that's maybe making it a little bit sweet, but <clears throat> that's really pretty. Then this is Iced Blueberry Biscotti. It's in like a little heart shape. Biscotti scents, I feel like, I, I, I've never really, le like, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, gravitated. I've never really gravitated towards biscotti scents. I mean, you don't really see them on vendor lists most of the time. I know this was a scent that was available in this pre-order. So I get the, like, blueberry. And the biscotti is just kind of like this different bakery note. I don't know how to describe it. It's okay. <clears throat> Then this next one is Sea Island Grapefruit. And it's like a piece of an embed that she would put on a loaf. So, and I love grapefruit scents and I forget sometimes how much I love them. Obviously it's not something I'm gonna melt right now, but that's so good. It's just so refreshing, a little bit sweet, nice and tart, like a little bit of that bitter grapefruit note. So that is really pretty. And then there's like a mystery chunk. It says mystery number three. But yeah, so I don't know, 
I'm not sure why it's a mystery. There's like chunks and stuff. It's not just like overpour. So I don't know if, unless you just forgot to label it. It's definitely bakery. It smells like cupcakes at Tiffany's. I feel like there's cupcakes at Tiffany's in this. Um, yeah, I'm getting like cupcakes at Tiffany's like bakery type scent. It smells good. <clears throat> So yeah, those are my samples. I got two of her souffles. So these are also her new souffle size. Um, I think I might have gotten these already once before. But this first one here is Winter Soiree. This is Winter, the Bath and Body Works type, uh, blended with Vanilla Bean Noel. And I'm gonna take this out, just so you can see how cute it looks. Smells so good. I love Winter by Bath and Body Works. There's no like chunks or embeds. It's just kind of like that top layer of blue. I feel like I mostly just get the winter. Yeah, the vanilla bean oil, I'm not distinctly smelling it. It might be like maybe adding a little bit of kind of creamy sweetness, but it smells really good. I think I've had this in a smaller size from her before. I know I've had it before, but I do really like it. And then this was a little bit of a gamble. Um, I went ahead and got it because I thought I was just excited by the name and like the uniqueness of it. This is Wednesday and it is tobacco, vanilla, pumpkin, sandalwood, and pumpkin firewood. Yeah, and I did add like the scent notes on the back. And I'm going to take this one out as well. Just it's very pretty. And they like pop right out. That's very pretty. It's a very pretty scent. Oops, where's the scent notes? Oh, 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 okay. I definitely, I can smell the tobacco. I can smell the sandalwood. I feel like I'm getting a little bit of that like pumpkin firewood. It's a very kind of pretty dark type scent. I think Wednesday was a good name um, for that blend. So it smells good, but definitely I feel like this size is plenty for me for this type of a blend. I got one of her little bakery bags. <clears throat> These are, I don't think I have the prices on here, but I think they're about like, they're supposed to be about eight ounces and I think it's about $12 or so. This is Masala Chai Frosted Pumpkin Cupcake. And I don't remember if I showed it, sorry. Okay, so. I feel like I'm not sure that I'm getting her masala chai. There's a bunch of cute shapes. There's like a little ice cream scoop. Um, and then you get like some little, she did some little ones like a little heart. Like I feel like I get a little bit of the masala chai. And then <clears throat> like kind of some spices maybe from the frosted again cupcake. It's not exactly how I was expecting it to smell. It smells good, but I'll definitely, I think, have to warm that to see kind of how it does on warm. Then I got six loaves. So let me go ahead and start with the loaf that I kind of was showing at the beginning. This is Holiday. Love this scent. I think I got it in a sample once. Absolutely love it. It's Palo Santo, roasted pine cones, smoked vanilla. Um, it seems so basic. Like, I mean, that, that seems like a scent you find from a lot of vendors now. Those are her embeds, like how cute is that? And then you do get some chunks on the bottom. God, so good. I feel like this is the best roasted pine cone blend I've smelled so far. There are some roasted pine cone scents out there from some vendors that come off a little bit cologne -y. This one is just warm and comforting and woodsy. I mean, it just reminds me of being in a cabin in the woods. So good. Like it's just blended so perfectly with the Palo Santo. And what I love is the Palo Santo does not take over this blend. Oh my God, that's amazing. Like amazing. I think this is my favorite. Actually not, I think that is my, this is my favorite blend in this order for sure. Like so good. <clears throat> okay, I got bougie vanilla gingerbread. And bougie vanilla gingerbread is warm gingerbread. 
angelic angel food cupcake which is a bath and body works type supposedly glazed donuts and marshmallows so i'm gonna take it out because it is just her loaves aren't messy and they're they're pretty easy to take out so there's a couple of embeds there um and then you do have the chunks just really pretty you definitely get the bougie vanilla the most which I really love. It's such a pretty vanilla. And then a little bit of that gingerbread, which is nice that the gingerbread does not take over that blend. So her bougie vanilla though, I do think needs some cure time. Um, oh, I think I got wax in my hair, <clears throat> but excited for that. I got a couple nighttime blends. This first one here is warm and dreamy. And look how pretty that is, the purple and all the sparkles. This is French Lavender, Sweet Lavender, Fireside Cream Cake, Sugar Cone, and Vanilla Bean Noel. So I love lavender and like bakery, lavender, vanilla bean noel, whatever. It smells great. So that's what it looks like. And then there are more chunks. Just a really nice, pretty lavender with some sweetness from like the vanilla bean noel and stuff. Yeah very pretty excited to have that i always need nice lavender blends uh, for my nighttime melting another lavender blend i got is lavender vanilla bean noel and she the scent description just says swanky's ultimate lavender blend and our own cream cake noel vanilla bean noel so it's not just lavender vanilla bean noel it actually is like there's like blends, they're blended. So that is what it looks like there. And on the bottom, very, very pretty. This is not as sweet as the other lavender blend. A little bit more powdery, but very pretty. Yeah, a little bit more herbal powdery leaning, but I do really like that one. I like them both. <clears throat> And when I say her prices are high, okay, first of all, the artistry and her loaves, I do appreciate. Um, the fact that she does all those chunks and then the overpour and the embeds, I know it takes a lot more time. So she should definitely charge like her for her time, you know? So um, I don't want to sound like I'm like complaining about her price increases. It was just very noticeable to me. So I was like, I didn't go real big and I don't really need to go real big because I have so much wax but it was just noticeable to me. So I was kind of curious to see, well, how big are these loaves, you know? Um, but I recognize the fact that there is a lot of time that goes into the loaves that she makes because they're, they're so pretty. So this next one is My Darling Vanilla Eggnog and Gingerbread. And look how pretty that embed is, cute. Okay, so this is, so My Darling Vanilla is pink sugar, sugar cookies, Mrs. Claus cookies, vanilla bean noel and butter cookies so it's a very like a very bakery pink sugar and then that's melted or sorry blended with eggnog and gingerbread so here it is out of the bag super cute and then your chunks so good this really comes off as like a you get a little like the gingerbread and the eggnog but just like a heavy bakery behind it like a good, rich, creamy bakery. This is really good. Like, really good. I don't get any pink sugar on cold. Oh, smells fantastic. Fantastic, like eggnog gingerbread bakery scent. Okay, then just one more. And in just like at her last pre-order of the year, she always does a New Year's blend, which is a lot of fun. So this is New Year's 2024. And I do have, I took, when I took these out to label, to add the labels to the back, some of the like edging of the loaf cracked. So that's what's in there. But this is Volcano Dragon Fruit Punch Strawberry and Pink Sugar. Um, let me see. I feel like this one, oh my God, it smells so good. So fruity. You definitely get like the volcano. Okay, so there's no chunks in this one. Look at that. <laughs> that part oh my gosh you know what? I get a little bit of the pink sugar I get that like really yummy sweet citrusy from like 
the volcano and the dragon fruit. Oh my God, that is like so delicious. This is gonna be a fantastic, like, I guess you can melt it on New Year, but this is really gonna be a fantastic spring and summer scent. So good, very, very good. Very sweet and like punchy, but not overly sweet, I guess. So New Year's 2024. So that's what I got from Swanky. If you guys ordered in this pre-order, you know, let me know down below what you got. If you've tried Swanky, let me know kind of what you think of her wax. I have placed several orders with her. I do enjoy her wax. Um, I do think sometimes it needs a little bit of cure time to get a good throw, particularly her like vanilla, like bakery type scents. Um, but I think that's pretty common for a lot of vendors. Um, overall, I get pretty good performance from her. And I do I do like her blends. Her price point used to be a little bit cheaper. It's gone up a little bit now. But, you know, that's the same for every vendor. Um, so I do really enjoy her wax. So anyhow, thank you all so much for, watch for watching. Thank you all so much for watching. <laughs> I will talk to you soon.